So the More XY printer is built and printing. I'll just give you a quick overview. So on the uh, on the power and controls board, we've got uh, mains um, power to solid state relay for silicon heater pad on the heated bed. The ATX power supply does the motors and the hot end. We've got standard ramps um, coming off that with the Arduino Mega underneath. You can see the uh, Vatorot. Uh, Silent step stick with the um, protective um, uh, flyback diode board piggy mat, um, backed underneath. Standard A4988 on the Z axis and the extruder. And I also soldered in a low RDS on uh, MOSFET into the hot end for that. And you can see the, the um, solid state relay control cables coming out of there. Uh, spool holder. Just there, now you've got your high torque A and B motors there. The Z axis uh, has got high torque motor there, and the threaded rods, the, the lead screws, we've got three of them all being driven off one motor there. Um, it works quite nicely. We've also got the original um, high win um, linear. Guides. Um, I bought a second one of the 9mm that I was using on the X gantry, and there's one on either end now <coughs> guiding the Z up and down. Uh, on the top, um, the uh, the robot digs are still in there. The 12mm high win is in there. We've got optical end stop here, and the X uh, and the X and the Y and we've got an inductive sensor with just a bit of aluminium flat um, coming up for that for the Z. So i now got no um, software based auto leveling, it's all mechanical um, and it's all um, kept together by having one motor drive all three with um, uh, lead screws with the timing belt. On here we've got a little LED down the back, got the E3D Titan extruder with a pancake stepper motor on there. We've got the volcano below and we've got this nice um, dual ducted um, bifurcated 40mm um, cooling fat uh, which goes on and cools the parts from both sides. That's pretty good. The bed itself is a really nice piece of cast aluminium plate um, that's been machined down nice and flat and stress relieved so that means it stays flat when it heats up you can see the cable for the the uh, silicon heated bed and underneath I'm using some uh, fat controller grease um, grill lining pads um, they go up to a decent temperature and that's just to insulate um, the underside of the silicon pad um, on top here you can see a sheet of um, 0.8 mil PEI sheet uh, clipped on and it's fantastic. I've never used it before, way better than glue stick for the PLA prints I've been doing and if you think you're going to have a problem getting a part off all you need to do is unclip them, uh, let the part cool and it just pops off but it means that by unclipping you could have a really fast um, turnover between prints. So that's uh, where the build currently is, it, it needs probably an enclosure and these uh, end bits of the slats holding the insulation underneath the heated bed could do with trimming. Um, but let me know in the comments uh, what else you want to know and I'll try and answer it in a future video and get some footage of it printing and some pictures of the parts up as well.